Providers and Local Intellectual and Developmental Disability Authorities, or LITAS, can access Medicaid eligibility reports on the Long-Term Care, or LTC, online portal dashboard. These reports are designed to streamline processes and prevent the loss of Medicaid coverage for individuals enrolled in Home and Community-Based Services, or HCS, and Texas Home Living. In this video, we'll discuss the lost slash losing Medicaid by end of month report and the Medicaid annual renewal due within one year report. We'll also show users how to view the Medicaid recertification date and Medicaid eligibility end date. Later in this video, we'll show users how to export data from the dashboard and provide a couple of best practices for using the Medicaid eligibility reports. For information on how to access the dashboard, Reference the Assigning Permissions and Accessing the LTCOP Dashboard video on the HCS and Texas Home Living playlist on the Texas Medicaid and Healthcare Partnership, or TMHP, YouTube channel. Medicaid Eligibility Reports There are two Medicaid eligibility reports. The first report is the Lost Slash Losing Medicaid by End of Month Report. This report aims to help providers and LIDAs manage Medicaid coverage more effectively. The report displays all enrolled individuals whose Medicaid eligibility is expiring by the end of the month or has already ended. Individuals whose Medicaid is not ending won't be shown in this report. The second report is the Medicaid Annual Renewal Due Within One Year Report. This report ensures users are aware of upcoming Medicaid renewals well in advance, reducing the risk of missed deadlines, which result in a loss of Medicaid coverage. The report displays all enrolled individuals whose Medicaid annual renewal is due within one year from the date the user generates the report. Individuals who have a type of Medicaid that doesn't require yearly renewal, like those who receive Medicaid because they receive Supplemental Security Income, or SSI benefits, won't be shown in this report. Medicaid Recertification Date Medicaid recertification is when individuals on Medicaid are being asked to show they still qualify to get Medicaid. The renewal must be submitted by the Medicaid recertification date. Medicaid recertification may also be referred to as Medicaid renewal, Medicaid review, or Medicaid redetermination. On Medicaid eligibility reports, the Medicaid recertification date column is positioned between the last billed date and Medicaid eligibility end date columns, providing crucial information at a glance. The Medicaid recertification date can also be found on the individual detail page. Users can click on a Care ID hyperlink to be directed to the individual's profile, then scroll down to locate the Medicaid recertification date under the Enrollment Information heading. Some individuals may not have a date listed in the Medicaid recertification date field. This means the individual has a type of Medicaid that doesn't require yearly renewal. Medicaid Eligibility End Date The Medicaid Eligibility End Date is different from the Medicaid recertification date. The Medicaid eligibility end date is when the individual's Medicaid coverage will end or has ended. On the Medicaid eligibility reports, the Medicaid eligibility end date column is positioned between the Medicaid recertification date and service county columns. Some individuals may have a date of 12-31-99-99 or no date listed in the Medicaid eligibility end date field. This means on the day the report was generated, the individual's Medicaid was not ending or did not end. For the most current and accurate Medicaid eligibility end date, users should refer to the Medicaid eligibility reports instead of the individual detail page. Users should only refer to Medicaid eligibility end dates on the individual detail page as historical data, as the individual detail page may take longer to generate the current Medicaid eligibility end date than the reports. Users can click on a Care ID hyperlink to be directed to the individual's profile then click on the Medicaid tab to locate the Medicaid end date. Under the Medicaid heading, users should refer to the Medicaid end date of the most recent eligible Medicaid. Exporting data from the dashboard. Users can export this data by simply navigating back to the report and clicking the export button in the top right corner. This will allow users to download the report in Excel format, where the Medicaid recertification date can be found in column P and Medicaid eligibility end date can be found in column Q. Best Practices Follow these best practices when using the Medicaid eligibility reports. 1. When to generate both reports. 
Medicaid eligibility information is updated daily and reports can be generated at any time. However, since the effective date changes for Medicaid updates around the third week of the month, it's best to generate reports at the beginning and end of the month. Generate the first reports between the first and tenth of the month. Generate the second reports on or after the Saturday following the third Thursday of the month. For example, if the third Thursday is the 16th of the month, generate the second reports on or after Saturday the 18th. This is particularly important for the lost slash losing Medicaid by end of month report. Individuals losing Medicaid at the end of the month, but not included in the first report, will appear in this second report. 2. How to use each report. Use the lost slash losing Medicaid by end of month report to identify individuals whose Medicaid coverage will end or has ended and who may need help keeping or reinstating their benefits. Focus on the Medicaid eligibility and date on this report as it tells you when coverage ends. Don't focus on the Medicaid recertification date for this report as it can be confusing and may be after the Medicaid eligibility end date. Remember the Medicaid eligibility end date on the individual detail page should only be used as historical data, as it may take longer to generate the current Medicaid eligibility end date than the reports. Use the Medicaid Annual Renewal Due Within One Year report to ensure individuals have renewed their Medicaid benefits on time. For this report, refer to the Medicaid recertification date, which is when the Medicaid renewal forms are due. Video Recap by staying informed and using these tools, providers and LIDAs can ensure continuous Medicaid coverage for those they serve. For more information on the dashboard and available reports, reference the LTCHCS and Texas Home Living Waiver Programs Provider User Guide, located on the 1915C Waiver Programs Reference Material page of the TMHP website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the TMHP YouTube channel.